This is the testing audio. This is the testing audio. Alrighty, guys. It is Friday, the 11th of February. Gonna be tackling Soapbox by Proof. Your your average Proof map. Gonna be grass. Always. Alright. We're back in it. Bit of an interruption, but you get to see this amazing intro. Looks like there's going to be more normal track, as well as some grass. Oop, I tabbed out of the game. Let's see. Oh, engine off. Whoa. This is cool. What? Where do you want me to go? This is an entirely engine off set track. That would be a little amazing. You gotta do some serious smooth steering on the grass to make sure you don't. Uh... Oh my god, I'm fast. I guarantee you that if you watch the inputs, you're going to find if I'm too fast in a section, I'll probably let up even though I'm no engine. Oh, this track is so cool if it's all no engine. What, is it, what did it say up there? GPS left, spectate mode, front right. Front right? Spectate mode? What does that mean? Oh. Like this. Okay, well, I haven't even finished the track yet, so. Cool. Oh my god, that's tight. I need to be further over to the right. <coughs> really nice aesthetic on the track, too. I touched the rock there, but I don't know if it necessarily matters. Okay. I haven't done the whole track yet, but I I'm, for some reason feel like... That section there on the hill is going to be super difficult. Yeah, because I have to go really left, then really right. Okay, don't do that. I'll figure that this track out. I would hope that these checkpoints are respawnable. I'm not going to try. Oh, they are. Look at that. Lovely. Okay, I, okay. I can actually see the flag, and the flags are blue for right, or white for right, and blue for left. So I can kind of plan out my route ahead of time if I just change where I'm looking. Oh, it's blue for left. That's right. I saw the flag and didn't process at all that it was blue and then it needs to be on my left. White right, blue left, white right, blue left, blue left. Oh, 
Oh, okay. How do you think I'm supposed to make that? Is that a drift? Are we drifting? Drifting is super... I mean, it's... It's really expensive to do in a no-engine track. Such a peaceful drive whenever there's no sound, no car vrooming sounds. It is a proof map. It looks like a proof map. It has grass. I just did not expect it to be no engine. It's a very cool concept. Kind of want to make a similar. Well, I want to make an interesting, unique track like this. Got to figure out the theme. Oh my god, that tree. Okay. Okay. That's a magnet. I really do think that that's a drift, but it's going to be real challenging. It's important to get the smooth steer on this grass because it's because we're not accelerating in any capacity. You don't want to lose grip on grass. You want to be just smooth steering as much as possible. Which means that this track is a keyboard player's nightmare. Oh god. Yeah. Or this this map is uh, very difficult for keyboard players. Well, it's I've not used action keys. Who knows? Maybe action keys make this a lot easier, but Ooh, uh I could stop. I need to stop doing that. I'm hitting the freaking poles. Make the landing. Good, good, good. I touched some of the grass, which is fine. Some of the bad grass, let me say. There's good grass in this track. I let up. <laughs> I need to actually hold the brake button. There's no way I'm making that turn without braking. right make this jump and left I'm very worried about hitting the uh, wall Ooh. okay that was not a great section okay like I really slowed down now we're on some dirt same situation we don't want to be Sliding in any capacity if we don't have to be. How do you expect me to have speed to do that? Oh. Hold on, wait. I need this gas. Oh, yeah, no, my car's broken. <laughs> I didn't realize that that's what we we're doing. That's hilarious. I broke my car. I need to get it fixed. Let's get this done. 
And now I wait. Hold on. It took. It took. It took 11 minutes for me to realize what the name of the track is. It's soapbox. It's soapbox. We're we're a soapbox car. If you don't know what a soapbox car is, they're these small wooden cars that you make as a child. Who knows if this is like standard at anywhere else? It's probably not. These small little wooden cars that you would make as a child, and you would just like race them down a basically just like a wooden slope. All right, bit of an interruption. It's fine. We'll continue. I'm one speeds faster. That speed thing's not gonna. It might matter. It might mean something. Okay. This turn is the one that's the most like hard because I don't want to touch the grass. Okay, I have a lot of speed now. Okay, cool. Nine seconds of improvement. Silver medal. 57 flat is a gold. Okay, I can do that. It's the drift. It's it's the drift, and I did go through a whole bunch of grass. Maintaining speed through that drift is, like, the key. Darn it. And the tree. Every little bit of speed loss is amplified in this sort of track style. I have to be extra careful that I don't do unnecessary slides of any capacity. It's very easy to hear whenever I'm sliding on the dirt versus when I'm not sliding on the dirt. It has a very distinct sound. Okay. Crap. Just crashed into it. I want to be going more straight down this hill. Because I don't have an engine actually steering off to the side. It ends up being slower. Doesn't matter if I get a low jump. I don't have engine, so it's not like I'm accelerating sooner. All that matters is that uh, I do these jumps aimed well. Okay, no, there's like some need to slow down, but maybe I don't drift and instead just like brake.
could watch the GPS to see how he did it, but I, I kind of want to figure it out. Because I can't let up on the gas because I, I don't have any. My car broke. Um, I need to do some other means of slowing down in a more straightforward way. I don't want to drift. I think drifting will use more speed than it benefits me. What I could do instead is that. Mm, which does work better, it looks like. I'm definitely going to keep doing that. Okay, let's not clip the corner. I'm trying to take a transition smooth when it doesn't necessarily matter. That does. I touched a little bit of grass. I'm slow. Or, well, I have gotten a slowdown. <laughs> okay, that was close. I skimmed the wall. It was a bit slow. I had not the greatest transition. Nice. I'm going to aim farther here so that I can take a straighter line through the grass. Okay. I think I had more speed there. I didn't approach the sausage section that well, but... The goal is really to just... The goal is to make that turn. The goal is to just minimize the amount of turning I'm doing on the grass just so that I don't slide on the grass. And if I have to turn, then do it very slowly. Got really close to that inside corner. And then you just want to jump straight here, just so you can take this as straight as possible. Okay, really what I want to do is I want to not... I want to basically break before I start turning, but I do want to start... I don't want the diff. I want to. I want to like break and then start turning almost immediately after. I don't want to be steering and then break because then I'll just drift. And I don't think I want to drift. Uh, yeah. It's a p. It's a very tranquil course. Don't do that. Okay. And remember, even though you aren't accelerating, holding the accelerator while no while no engine is actually faster, at least in the air. Okay, I drifted. Oh, I was going to say, I drifted, but it wasn't terrible. I actually had a good line there. Unfortunately, I 
immediately ruined it, but it's whatever. There we go. Basically a straight line through here, otherwise like super smooth steering. Surprised it didn't actually hit that. That was good. I didn't go through too much penalty grass. Well, I slowed down quite a lot there, but better than before, I feel. Okay, let me practice this because this is like the key. Because I do not want to be... I do not want to... That dirt section is also very important because I don't want to be sliding. So I can be in a situation where I'm not sliding... Going around those bobsleigh corners, then that would be better than if I were sliding straight through this. Didn't even touch grass. I'm freaking miles in the air. Okay. Nice. That was very good. Could have been better. I may need, may have wanted to like go down the dirt sooner, but, but, very good time. Big old second of improvement. Let's see what we can do on top of that. I think those grass, or I think those dirt turns are more important than a lot of the rest of the track. <laughs> Have more speed, let's go. Point six. It's it's entirely in how much I drift on those dirt sections. The first turn I drifted a lot more than my previous ghost, and you could see how much time I lost. I was point three ahead, I did that dirt turn, and I was like I could see my ghost behind me. I lost point three just to one turn. Those dirt turns are the most important part of this track. And maybe the grass sections are too, but I know grass enough, or I've, I've, I'm too familiar with grass to have those be... Th these are trivialized, these grass sections. I mean, these grass sections are also like straight lines, but they're very trivial to me. I touched some penalty grass in the inside. Even if I didn't touch the inside there, I'd have been quite a disadvantage to myself due to the penalty grass that I touched. Okay. Simple enough. I let up on the gas like that did something. Let's 
Good speed. Make it into the garage. Let's go. Nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Got a couple minutes left still. Let's see if I can get any better. I wouldn't expect any speed difference for these first few corners. Like, I really think the speed difference thing is only going to show, like, very small numbers, up until the end, at least. That's where it might show bigger numbers. Oh, that was, that was going to be amazing if I had made that as I crashed into a flag. Is there a big house behind us? I just want there to be. No, we came out of a tunnel in our... Ooh, I'm... Forced camera two down this hill? It's probably because it's, like, really bad in camera three. Or in cam... Wait, does that mean cam three? Yeah, you can't even use, like, first-person camera. I wish you could, like... Do more advanced stuff with the trigger system in Media Tracker. Like, I wish you could specify, like, hey, if they're in Cam 3, they don't need to be switched. But if they're in Cam 1, switch them. Like media tracker in track mini is really powerful. You can do so much on a track. Why can't I just do a little bit of conditional conditional condition conditionality? Okay. So it's looking like this is probably gonna be the last run for today. Um Really enjoyed this track. It was really cool. Very unique. Um, but otherwise, I will see you all tomorrow. Actually, I'll see you all on Sunday where we will tackle whatever track happens to be the two tracks of the day for the weekend. Until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll hopefully make it to the bottom of this hill before our car breaks. We did make it. All right. Later.